Hi guys, Jams V here. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to achieve this scene using the newly updated Twin Motion 2023.1 Preview 2. The design was inspired from the old wedding venue in Thailand. The base model was Model and AkiCAD 25. As you can see I made some ripple effect using the mesh tool in AkiCAD to have some more realism into the water. Save the file using the Datasmith exporter. Okay then, let's start. First thing first. Import file from Twinmotion. Then we are going to create our camera view to do this. Position your camera view approximately. Go to Media, Create Image. Click Image icon and Format Width value 3400 and Height value to 3800. Go to Camera Settings and Enable Parallelism. Then position your camera view. Don't forget to refresh image to update the camera viewport. Now I will import the Cobra waterfall I downloaded from 3D Sky. Elevate it just bare enough the water splash touches the water surface. Add some box object under Primitives tab. Put it under the fountain and rescale it. For the wall material, I will just use painted concrete wall surface from Quixel Megascan Surface. Contera pattern glass for the water surface. Change opacity to 3% and scale value to 10. For the waterfall, apply clear glass. Frosted glass for the splash particles. Change RGB to 152 and opacity to 75%. Enable the path tracer. I usually use this parameters for exterior rendering. Samples per pixel to 1000. 
Max bounces to 16 and Ayla Zing filtering to 1. For the water pool tile I'm going to apply stoneware tiles 5. Now, enable the HDRI environment and select Backdrop HDRI. I am using my personal HDRI map from HDRI Skies. Increase size value to 500. Input exposure value to 80 and sun intensity to 2. Rotate the HDRI map around 109 degrees. Now, just add some vegetation around the scene.
I also added omnidirectional light. Just decrease intensity to 25 and enable shadows. Also in the environment parameters, under weather tab. Dragged weather bar just enough to create some wet grounds into the scene. Increase the height fog to 60%. One thing left to do is export our scene. That's all guys, I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Don't forget to support my YouTube channel, Jamsview. Thanks.